we're blessed with exponential growth, I will tell you that. Uh, we have uh, about 115 full-time employees now uh, in New York and LA, where we have always been, uh, but also with about 15 people in Chicago. We opened our San Francisco office. We have several people there now, uh, and outposts in Cincinnati uh, and Atlanta. Um, so we're, we're growing regionally, and we're growing um, at large with our, uh, with our practice. Uh, we're doing a lot of work now uh, in organizational design, in data and technology solutions advisory work. Uh, as always, anything what I call du jour, uh, helping clients sort through opportunities in mobile uh, or with big data, with content creation and distribution strategy. Uh, and of course, the media reviews, um, which have been uh, the headline occupiers for uh, several months now. So we've been very, very busy with that and also doing a lot of work uh, with private equity firms in helping them understand uh, what to buy uh, and what to invest in uh, in the media marketing advertising technology ecosystem. So yes, we have been very, very busy uh, and that's a good thing. There's a lot of reports out uh, this week uh, about media and advertising around the world. All the big holding companies put out their studies on Monday and mm -hmm. they show, to a, show a robust growth in digital. Uh, a couple of them say that digital will surpass TV in a couple of years. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Facebook is tremendous. Google is tremendous. Um, Yahoo, not as much. Not as much. Uh, question to you, looking to the future of media, you know, what are some things that you think we should look forward to in terms of growth over the next couple of years? What, what are the dynamic areas of growth and perhaps retrenchment? Hmm. You know, it's funny, Andy, there was a, a particular headline in, in either the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, I can't remember, but it, it talked about uh, digital surpassing uh, television spend in just a couple of years. And 20 years ago, when we, we found a double click, I had the privilege of being on that executive team. And on really bad days, those first couple of years, I used to write fantasy headlines like that. Uh, and believe me, they were very far from true at the time, but I, I laughed out loud when I read that headline the other day because I wrote that 20 years ago uh, on a bad day to cheer myself up, saying someday you will see a headline like this. Um, I think as we go forward, uh, there's no question at all. Look, we live in a digital world. We won't even use that, that uh, that word anymore. All, all media will be digital media. Uh, the expression of advertising uh, or commercial messaging is, I think, what we want to look at. Uh, as we move forward, I don't think advertising is going to look very much like what it looks like today. I think that's the big thing uh, to watch for. And I think you're seeing that with the rise of uh, whatever you like to call it, native advertising, branded content. Um, <clears throat> this is the brand understanding that we have to stop interrupting the conversation, we need to be the conversation. And advertising by its very nature is intrusive. Advertising in a social environment is disruptive. And that's where you completely use, uh, sorry, lose your user or your consumer, uh, your customer. And so I think on the go forward, you will see the literal reinvention of what advertising looks like from a creative standpoint. Uh, and that's the big watch.